we've been doing a lot of work around the house lately and unfortunately my roof has taken a real beating uh, concrete roofs are great they look beautiful and I don't think there's a roof that's better at keeping the heat out and, uh, and, and really keeping the heat, heat in as well uh, in the winter time too. They have a little bit of some uh, downsides to them. One, they're a little brittle. If you are walking on them in a haphazardly way and you're not really evenly putting the weight on your feet, you can crack them. Uh, and uh, we had to tent the house recently for some termites and we painted the house recently and also installed a uh, solar system for the pool. So there's been a lot of traffic on the roof and we've got some tiles to replace. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, and these are the concrete tiles we're working with. This one's a little dirty right here. And uh, you see one thing about them is they interlock like this and they just kind of lay on top of one another with a couple of nail holes at the top to hold the tiles in place. <clears throat> we won't be re-nailing the tiles in place. We're just going to rely on the fact that these tiles interlock. Uh, when you're replacing the tiles on here and you're not replacing a whole gob of tiles like, you know, 20% of the roof tiles or something like that. Um, it's okay to not re-nail them in. A couple of reasons. One, you're going to see it's kind of hard to get uh, in a position to nail them without really damaging the roof, roof further. And you always really want to be hesitant about putting extra holes in your roof than you really absolutely need to. And you'll see that these tiles, once they're set in place and interlock they're not really going to move anywhere but uh, let's talk a little bit about the tools that we're going to use today uh, one thing I use uh, because the concrete tiles are really heavy is this uh, kind of a modular load harness called Versamule and the Versamule can basically hook to any container with a handle like this and turn it into a kind of a rugged backpack. And, uh, but these are the other tools that we're going to need. First off, anytime you're working with concrete, it's a good idea to have a pair of gloves on. Concrete's pretty, pretty abrasive. And, uh, the main tools that you're going to be using is a mallet and uh, they call these a super bar but you can get away with like a pry bar uh, just something that's relatively thin we need something to come up underneath the, the tiles uh, so that we can lift them up a little bit that's what this is for and uh, the mallet is to tap things in place and to actually hold the tiles uh, up after we've pried them up. Uh, a couple of the tiles are uh, will need to cut uh, to sides. Most of them are are just the full size pieces, but some pieces on the edges are a little bit more narrow. So what we brought to cut that is just your standard uh, skill saw or. Uh, but uh, you're either going to want to have a, 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 a masonry uh, uh, saw blade on here or a diamond blade. And you could either use uh, kind of like a, a skill saw type saw or like an angle grinder type saw. E either is fine. The blade that which you use is, is kind of important. You're going to want some ear protection. And uh, you're going to want some type of square or angle uh, so that you can cut a straight line, uh, the ones that we are going to be cutting, and then some sort of crayon 
uh, like this to, to make your marks with. But that's all we're going to need today. And so let's get started.